hi guys how you guys doing it's your baby girl rookie in the building <laughs> as you guys can see i'm very excited to be filming this video for you guys today we're going to be learning healthy sewing habits that will ensure you have a beautiful sewing experience so if you like to see this just sit back and let's do this So healthy habit number one is your posture if you slouch when sewing that's not good it's gonna give you chest pain it's going to give you back pain so sit upright and enjoy your sewing okay healthy sewing habit number two guys is where you place your pins of course sewing involves using a lot of pins to hold down things so don't put it in your mouth okay you might swallow and you might choke on it that's not good so the best thing is have a pin holder have something you can use to hold your pins and then pick your pins from there and once you are done you put it back there i know sometimes you can be in a hurry and you want to just put all your pins in your mouth but that's not good okay so you can also use this pin holder it's really really beautiful and you know bougie <laughs> so i got this from aliexpress you can actually get it from tailoring shops so it's really really convenient you can just wear it while you sew healthy sewing habit number three guys is come on look at that don't work in a littered dirty environment okay your sewing space should be very neat and tidy it's going to give you a very you know beautiful sewing experience and then you don't even get to make the clothes you are sewing dirty whether it's your customer's clothes or your clothes everywhere is just neat and you enjoy sewing you know just look at that it's really beautiful so that's another healthy sewing habit. Guys, sewing is not pageantry. <laughs> you don't need all of that hair coming to your face and distracting you while you sew. That's not good. Okay, so the best thing you can do is if you have long hair and it disturbs you while you sew, why don't you just use a rubber band and hold it down? Hold it to your back, you know, pack everything and have your hair very neat. It's going to give your face you know all that room for fresh air while you sew okay <laughs> so this one is for people that love to gist while they sew <laughs> oh my god all the army bottlers that you be gisting with people and then you forget do you know it, what it does to you is that it makes you distracted and you might make mistakes while you sew and that's not good so the best thing is while you sew try as much as possible to just you know Keep your lips still so that you can concentrate on what you're doing. Even if you want to talk or just with a customer, you know, keep it minimal, okay? Just so you can concentrate better on what you're doing. So for every tailor that likes to litter their sewing space, I mean, when you sew, everywhere just gets messy normally with fabrics and all. But then it's not good to just litter everywhere and leave it and up and go when you're done sewing, okay? It's not a healthy sewing habit so the best thing to do is clean up your sewing space clean up everywhere before you step out of your machine make sure everywhere is clean and then you leave everywhere neat before you leave so this one is actually very common amongst a lot of tailors so they are sewing right and they realize that oh the machine is not functioning well and there are a whole lot of things that are not you know working right and then they get the machine oil and begin to oil while they're sewing oh no that's not good okay so when you want to oil your machine make sure you remove everything make sure there's no fabric and preferably oil before you leave so that by the next morning the oil would have you know gone through the machine and it doesn't touch or stain your fabric okay the measuring tape is every tailor's best friend i mean how will you leave your bestie one side and then you start sewing that's not good so always 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 have your measuring tape on your neck i mean that's your badge of honor as a tailor right <laughs> so that is a very healthy habit it's going to make you more efficient while you sew and you have a beautiful sewing experience 
oh yes the cutting scissors <laughs> it's not healthy to use the cutting scissors on your sewing table or your sewing machine while you're sewing okay it's big for a reason you use it on your cutting table not for your sewing table so when you're done cutting use a more you know yeah this is cute it's actually more handy using more handy scissors for your sewing table while you sew it's going to make sewing easy and much much more fun okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you learned a thing or two please do well to subscribe give this video a thumbs up click on the notification bell leave me a comment and i'll see you in my next one bye